Good morning, everyone. It is Wednesday morning and I have to leave real quick to get a Judy, but I just wanted to update you guys on my whole foot situation and the gout thing. So the doctor called yesterday and I spoke with her and she basically said that she still doesn't believe that this is gout, that this is showing um, symptoms of possibly something else. So she still wants me to go to the dermatologist and she still wants me to get the biopsy. Now, the problem with that is um, I was doing like some reading up on gout and they said, you know, to eat fruit and um, just things to like stay away from and things to eat to get rid of it. And yesterday I decided I was going to have raspberries, which I barely have any fruit at all just because of the carbs. And I know that like raspberries, blueberries, and strawberries are a pretty safe fruit to have on keto, but I've just kind of been staying away from them. So anyway, I had a smoothie yesterday with probably three fourths of a cup of frozen raspberries. And I woke up this morning and the redness has completely disappeared on my foot. Um, now it just looks kind of like a huge bruise. So I don't know if I should still keep that appointment with a dermatologist and go in. I don't know if they're still going to do the biopsy. If I do go in, um, I guess I'll kind of wait and see what happens until tonight. The appointment is tomorrow at 10 a.m. But I'll just wait and see like if it completely disappears by tonight, then I'm just canceling the appointment and chalking it up to I have no idea what it was. Um, because if they do a biopsy, they're not going to see anything because it's gone, right? Or I don't know. Um, so anyway, I will keep you guys updated, but the temperature has gone down in Wisconsin, which is nice. It was 103 yesterday, I think. It got up to so, so hot. Um, puppy is already left uh, with my daughter for her to go to work with the dog and Snooky Louise took her heart medication this morning like a champ and she's sleeping now so I am going to get going but I will definitely update you guys later on Hi today. Everyone. It is a Thursday and I just got back from my doctor's appointment and as you can see the marks on my foot are completely gone. There's no bruise, um, no nothing. So the doctor basically said that, you know, we really can't biopsy anything because the skin looks normal there. Um, you know, there's really no point in it because whatever had happened is gone now. So I don't know, you guys. It's crazy. The light in there was so bad. I had to move. It's just so sunny outside. Um, but anyway, so they said that there are many other different things that one can have with the elevated acid or whatever they tested for for the gout. They said that it is probably not gout um, and they said that they would probably, you know, contact my doctor if I'm having like any kidney pain um, to get my kidneys checked out, but they did say that because I was on the keto diet and because I was doing it so extreme that that may have been the problem. My body just might not be a keto body. Um, so I am going to have to reevaluate with my doctor, but no biopsy. So I don't know, you guys, we'll see what happens if I have another flare up. For the rest of the day, my mom is gonna come pick me up. We might go out for lunch. Um, to have like a late lunch because I think it's already like 1130 right now and I'm not going to eat right now. I'll eat later. Um, but we're going to be going to TJ Maxx and um, if I do record in TJ Maxx, it's probably going to be in a separate video because I want to do one of those voiceovers again. I really enjoyed the last time I went to TJ Maxx and did the voiceover. I thought it turned out really good and I know it was like in a vlog style video. Um, but this time I just kind of want to do like a shop with me type thing um, and just look to see what they have. So like I said, if I do that, it won't be in this video. I'll record it and it'll be um, in a different video. But yeah, and then if my mom and I go out to eat, I'll record that. I don't really know if we're going to or not though because I still have that chicken in the fridge that I need to eat before it goes bad. 
Um, so I might just come back here and do that. But yeah, those are the plans. Hey guys, I know I should have. So I just got out of TJ Maxx and I'm gonna be doing a separate video, like I said, um, shopping in the TJ Maxx store. But I wanted to show you guys in this vlog what I all got. So I got this calendar from them a while ago. And what's interesting is my calendar ends June, like the last month on here is June of 2022. So I found another calendar. It's a 17 month and it starts in August. So there'll be just one month where I don't have a, a calendar, I guess, hanging up. And then I couldn't resist these. This reminds me of Woodman's um, grocery store. So we used to get these meringue cookies and they are so good. They're not um, this brand, but I got the lemon ones and yummy. I can't wait to try these, $4.99. And then of course, whenever you see La Source, you have to pick it up. So I picked up some of this La Source. It's the conditioning hand wash and this was $5.99. And I mean, it's a pretty big bottle. It's comparable, you know, to high end stuff. And then I also, Crabtree and Evelyn, always pick this stuff up. This one is the rose water. I like using this in a nighttime shower before I go to sleep at night. I'll just, I won't wash my hair or anything. I'll just like rinse off the day, wash myself with this, and it's just really calming and soothing. And this was $6.99, so they did raise the price of that one. Oh, oh dear. And then I also picked up some of this Nivea. Now I got the Nivea nighttime wash um, in the lavender the last time I went with my daughter and my mom. This one is called Diamond and Lychee. And I was like, what is this for $4.99? It's a pretty big bottle of shower gel. And let me just smell it again. Oh, it smells good. Mom, smell this. I won't put you on. Ooh, nice. Do you like it? Nice. Here. It's, it's some... no, it, it's, it's shower gel. Oh, it's soap, oh, oh. mom. Oh, it smells so good. Smell it again. Nice. Mm, nice. Just nice. Just nice. And then I also picked up some sea salt caramels because my daughter has, well, I'm gonna have to pick up more candy. She's got this huge candy dish in her office and the last time I went in there to get the dog, I noticed that it was empty. So she is going to be getting these sea salt caramels. These were $4.99 and they are by, who are they by, Happy Sweet? I'm not sure, but cute packaging at any rate. So now we're gonna go downtown because my mom ordered some shoes um, and they have a shoe store downtown Oshkosh that she likes going to. What is it? What was it equivalent to? The old school downtown Appleton shoe Joseph's. store. It's equivalent, she said, to Joseph's, right? Yeah. And then, um, but they what is this one? Name. Yeah, they have like brand my, name stuff. What is it called again? My favorite finish was Bionic. She likes and the Bionic, you guys sass. know. SAS. Oh, and Sass. Is this going to fit in there too? Britain's is what it's called. Britain's Shoe Store is what it's called, downtown Oshkosh. So if you guys are looking for any of those name brand um, shoes, give them a try because they probably have them in. Lots of high heels. They have oh, really? purses that are Oh, they art, have purses? That are art, done by art. Very expensive. But What do you mean done by art? Well, like done artists, by artists? By an artist. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah. Hmm. Oh shoot, I forgot high to put heels, my Nivea. Like Elizabeth Taylor, high, high heels. Oh my lord, okay. Okay, everyone, so we're gonna go downtown and Hi, see what my mom just got back. I was waiting for her in the car. So she got these sass shoes. Let's take a look at them. Okay. It's kind of crazy back here, mom. There's like some weird ass people. They pulled up and then they left and then they pulled up again. It was kind of bizarre. Weird by True, lots of weird men trying to buy tools. Oh, those are cute. They feel squishy. I thought you were getting Vionics, though. No. Mm -hmm. Oh. These are sass I have on, but. Got ya. Yeah, those are cute. I like them. I like the shimmy. Yeah. You know. Right. It's cute. Okay. I decided to put the top down. So now we're just going to go home, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Unless you want to drive through the park on the way. 
No, I don't. Okay, guys, I am going to end the vlog here. Thank you so much for watching. I will keep you guys updated on any more, like, rashes or any kind of thing that I have going on. Oh, Snooky. Snooky, you are such a good girl. Yes, you are. Yes, you are, baby. Anyway, I hope you guys have a great Thursday, and I will see you tomorrow. Don't forget to subscribe and thumbs up this video if you guys want more content. Okay, have a good day, guys. Bye-bye.